Uh, was, was that the journey to victory you planned? You exactly like that, yeah. <laughs> I, told, I told them yesterday that was going to happen. I didn't want to tell the crowd, so it was a bit of emotion there. Okay, how, how do you feel after that? Great. I think we, we all work so hard and, and plan everything to live moments like this. And, um, and those moments are going to stick with us, you know, to see the crowd so connected with the team again and celebrate um, in a big match like today with the history of these clashes, I think it's, um, it's something great. So, very happy. Not the perfect performance, but a fantastic day. So, what a contribution by yeah. the No, especially, you know, the first goal that we gave away, we talked about it. You will lose the ball inside in the first two passes after regaining it against this team. You are kaput. We did it again. <laughs> In the second half, and, and they, they could have scored. Well, they scored, but uh, but it was uh, overturned. But um, for the rest, you know, the will, the determination, and the eagerness of the team, the way it shows, and was that will to win and that mentality to to go and go and go. It's I'm so proud of. Sam Patelico. I don't. I prefer Bukayo puts it in the back of the net much earlier, and and the other chances that we had, but. If it doesn't happen, why it has to happen another way? And, and a team needs different tools to, to win football matches, you know. And uh, and they needs the capacity as well to react, which I think we did really well in the first half. Straight away, we scored the goal, and that made the difference. And I think that set the tone as well, and, and some calmness to to the team. So uh, really good. James from CBS. Mikel, obviously a special moment for Declan scoring. Yeah. Did you reflect on the 95 minutes beforehand? It seemed a really wow. good game for him. I think a tremendous performance when you look about. Uh, holding midfielder, how he needs to dominate his area, and and the presence that that is needed, how he break up play, you know, how he glide the team together in many moments when when the team was stretching a little bit, um, he was really dominant, and then obviously he produced a, a magic moment to win us the game. So uh, really happy with him. Amy from the Athletic. Um, Mikel, uh, is it as much about mentality when Declan Rice has that opportunity as it is about your? Technical ability to take a chance like that. Mm. When you have a moment where you need someone to grab the initiative, yeah. do you think that there's a reason that someone like Declan Rice has that? Yeah, but obviously we can do it. Uh, we did it yesterday, you know. But yesterday your heartbeat is um, at 80, and now is at 190, you know. And to produce the same level of quality there when the pressure is on, and it's just that moment, is just unique, and you need to have that. That quality, that sentiment, that that composure, and um, and he showed it today, and and he's there. Can you tell us a little bit about how he's fitted into the dressing room, and is mm. he showing the kind of leadership that you w were expecting as well? Very natural, you know. He's a great kid. Um, I think he's got a good mixture. I think between being extremely demanding with everybody, with himself, and then a bit of banter as well, and 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 being around the the boys and the staff in, in a really humble way, you know. So. Um, I think it's, it's fitting in brilliantly. James from ESPN. He's talked about wanting to add more goals and assists to his game. Is that, is that something you see when we're going back to start? Is that something you see you can do this week? For sure. And when you see the, the technical ability that has and, and how he executed in, in these moments, his, his range, you know, when he's shooting from range, his accuracy, you know, the power that he generates with no space, both legs, to be fair, he can do it with both feet. Um, and he's got the timing as well to arrive in the box. So. The position, I think, would determine a lot. You know how many goals he would score because the idea is about how consistent you are in certain spaces arriving there. But he's got ability to do that. That's for sure. Okay, hi. Um, hi. I know it's only four games in, but we've seen City start very strongly. A lot of your other traditional rivals, Spurs, Liverpool. So how how important is it to have that momentum and, and these points now, and not just your game? <laughs> For every team, when you look the competition, for every team it's like game one, and if you don't win the first one, the second one, the third, and it's still 34 games to go. So uh, just focus on the game and, and play with with uh, more naturality, and 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 the result would come. You know, if you deserve it at the end, after 30 games, you will be where where you deserve. And I think we can only focus on that because it's still very very early. Mark from the sun. Kuczewski was talking to Thomas Partey. How long, Thomas Partey? Yeah. How long? Anticipate he might be out. Yeah, I don't know. Unfortunately, he got injured in training and he doesn't look good. Uh, we need some more tests, but um, but we believe he's going to be out for weeks. Uh, I think he's more a like groin, but um, it can be something in between. Okay, we've got the last couple. David Day, I think, from Deposa. Yeah, hi. hi. Uh, we are at the international break now. Yeah. How happy are you with the level you guys are in terms of the way you're playing? Yeah, very happy. I think we play four games. We decided to win four games. It could have been very different, but uh, 
the margins that we are arriving at the at the uh, late stages of the game doesn't reflect what the team has done before, you know. And I think there are things that are still in our control that we can do better. And, and the team will try to progress and, and evolve in that direction to to close games earlier and and, and win them easier. Right, finally, for the gentleman. Um, good evening, Carol. Hi. Hi. Fabio, yeah. every player has a chance to, to do that today. We decided to start with Kai, and we knew that Fabio would have a, a big impact, especially in the last few minutes if, or, or, or final minutes if we needed something, and um, and something has changed with Fabio. You notice it, you notice it with the crowd when he steps in. He's different how he was last year. He's more mature, he's more senior in the squad, and his confidence at the moment is high, so I'm really happy to, to have those options. Okay, well, thanks very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.